Some people in the comment section believe that this could be something as innocent and harmless as a monkey, whereas others are convinced that the entity in the video is something significantly more sinister. So what do you guys think this is? Is it possible that this is just a monkey and nothing more? Or do you think that the entity is if something If that's creepy? a monkey, I'm a beluga whale. Be sure whale. to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Hey guys, before the video continues, if you're new here or been here for a while, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to help support me in future videos. Take it away, Metro. We got two Sir Spook videos to watch today. I did not know he uploaded two weeks ago. I think, actually, no, three weeks ago. No, two weeks ago. I will get to the point where I will be uploading three reactions a week. Might be in mid june early july when that starts because i i'm still waiting for the people who i am trying to work with to make me a playlist when they make me a playlist i could just binge watch maybe five reactions in the night have them pre-scheduled have them you know edited uh, ahead of time it's gonna take a little while for me to shift to three reactions a week because yes, I was spending time on Fridays for gaming videos. Gaming videos is now going to be on a back burner on this channel. I will just be putting the gaming videos onto the channel, Simpapi Games. That is still my main passion. I love games. Reactions is something that you guys prefer. So I'm doing it here on the main channel. But it's a big shift. Going from a before and the birth of this channel, animated music videos, AMVs, to compilations, to gaming, to now reactions. That's a big shift. Prior before, reactions didn't get much editing. I want to introduce a little bit more editing into the whole reaction space of my videos. So since I am saving a lot more time from not focusing on gaming on this channel, I could spend maybe a couple hours more on each of these reaction videos with edits. With that being said, we have 13 scary videos to give you nightmares. That, with that being said, we have 13 videos to give you nightmares. Let's fucking go. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks and today we'll take a look at 13 scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel yes. for more scary content. Mm -hmm. Alright, with that said, let's begin. Go ahead and do that. And audio is loud. This first video comes to us from a user on TikTok known as Fran Devil, who shared the footage huh. to their account on March 24th, 2024. That's not Throughout the duration scary of the at video, all. We watch as the uploader records the inside of their living room while all is silent in the house. The Initially, the video just seems to have some random piece of footage that the uploader shot with nothing of real interest occurring. Yeah, I forget However, how to drink. In a couple of seconds, it becomes clear that something very wrong is going on inside this uploader's house. Oh, give me a helmet at this point. Get coño. Oh. Is he like Dominican? I'm a virgin. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Stop it! I'm a virgin. I hear, I hear that Pope guy, that old TikTok or Vine video. Out of nowhere, a sound can be heard coming from somewhere within the kitchen. The uploader promptly heads over to where the source of the noise is to investigate, but he ultimately turns up with nothing. It's mm. only a few seconds later in which this eerie sound can be heard. <laughs> nah, if I'm home alone, I hear a little kid laughing. That's a whole Molotov cocktail being made and thrown. At this point, surely this TikToker is scared out of their mind, um, trying yeah. to make sense of the scary events that are transpiring within the confines of their house. But before the video ends, there is one last scare. A baby laughing is the cutest thing in the world. Unless you hear it when you're home alone. 
and don't have a baby. Unfortunately, this video doesn't really have a lot of context provided with it, but we can assume that the upload was probably experiencing some strange occurrences before, Poltergeist. Him, which is why they started to film in the first place. If it does turn out that this place is haunted, then I think it's a good idea for them to look at houses on the market immediately. Yes. Or look into your insurance company to see what happens if your house is set ablaze. Make sure you have fire protection on your home. But if it gets too out of control, see if you could cover it. Oh, the insurance will cover the cost of you most likely moving somewhere else. You know, like an accidental gas leak, you know, or an electrical fire of a weak outlet. Maybe, I don't know, things that could be accidental. guy on TikTok going by the username Wade Wilson's son posted a video to his account on April 8th, 2024, so in which kid. he can be seen wandering downstairs to the basement level of his house. He says that if you have ever purchased a home with a mysterious hole in it, he advises that you go in it. It sounds about like white people he's shit. in quite a strange situation to say the least. Some white people Never. shit. Found a hole in my house. Never bought a home. Oh, he's on country as hell. Hole. I am I not. Ex I just go in it. Uh, mm -mm, that's some white people shit. What the fuck was that? It was like a hand. No f way, Jimmy. The oh system. my god, bro. Are you f kidding me? Come out here. Something very strange about this whole thing is that the board seemed to be nailed from the inside, as shown at around the 5 second mark in the video. This is a quite creepy detail to say the least. Of course, the creepiest thing about this video is the fact that there is some kind of a strange tunnel system inside yes. of this TikToker's Look house. at this, Cletus! Look what How I found, was Cletus! This tunnel system present? Oh shit, Clyde! As soon as the house was first constructed. <laughs> It's a goddamn tunnel yes, system. Then the other question would be, what's its purpose? This seems like the setup for some creepy horror movie that hasn't been released yet. No, nope, just, just hope many that this has been released with this kind of fine living in this house situation. And one day, some horrifying creature won't crawl through and try to harm him. Wasn't there a whole Netflix TV show that had like six episodes where a family moved into this old building? And wasn't it like this butler, whatever, like this man child that used to just have fun in the elevator, like the, not the elevator, the one that the butlers used to put food in to raise it, whatever, I forget what it was. And then one by one, either they were getting murdered or the neighbor was finding the way into the house. I forgot. It was something on Netflix. This reminds me of that because I'm pretty sure one person caught the person in their home. If you find a hole in your home, don't be white. Don't explore it. Scooby don't. Don't Scooby do. Scooby don't. That's my TED talk. If you look carefully, you can make out what appears to be some kind of mysterious creature running across the road. The third video here is probably the best in terms of how good of a look we get at the creature. Even still though, the shot isn't 100% clear. Some people in the comment section believe that this could be something as innocent and harmless as a monkey, whereas others are convinced that the entity in the video is something significantly more sinister. So what do you guys think this is? Is it possible that this is just a monkey and nothing more? Or do you think that the entity is if something that's creepy? a monkey, I'm a beluga whale. Be sure whale. to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. On November 6th, 2019, a okay. woman named Tony Rogers Five years posted ago? a video to her YouTube channel, which seemingly shows evidence that her house may be harboring some kind of uninvited guests. 
Bro, where had time been? In the video, Tony explains that she was simply getting dressed to head out for work when all of a sudden, her dog started acting scared, which prompted her to pull out her phone camera and start filming. COVID really the duration of the video, made us time travel. We can hear Tony asking her pet dog what's wrong, but no matter what, Tony is unable to figure out what her adorable pooch could be so afraid of. However, it doesn't take her too long to find out. She's acting really strange today. I don't know what's going on with her. What is it, Baze? Hmm? I don't see anything. Bailey? What? What is she looking at? She has like a, the, the dog has like fox ears. That? I said the chair moved. Yeah, the chair moved. Bailey. She keeps looking over here. I don't know what her deal is, but something's not right. Can you clear your throat? Drink some water. I don't know what she's she doing. Noise. What is that noise? I don't know what noise that is. Um, Haley, Bailey. Bailey. Yeah. Why, why are you acting that way? Are you okay, Haley? What is it? What are you doing? What the? Oh my god, did that chair just move? Yeah, it just moved. Oh my god, oh my god it's moving. Oh my god. Oh hey, dude, get all out of, of here. Sudden, one of the chairs in the room begins to move all on its own, much to the confusion and sheer terror of Tony, who ends the video shortly thereafter perhaps too scared to film any further. Despite the fact that this video is several years old now, there still hasn't been any sort of concrete explanation given to this story. Several years old? Making us all wonder what kind of strange spirit was messing around in Tony's house that day. 2019 was yesterday. Bradley's locksmith, commonly referred to as Bradley Lock and Key, is a locksmith business situated in Savannah, Georgia. Oh, I thought that they, they were fucking piano it keys. It is the oldest company still in operation in Savannah oh. and among the oldest locksmith businesses nationwide. Wow. They've been founded in 1883. Since 1967, it has been situated in the northeast tithing block of Wright Square at its present site, the Patrick Duffy Building. 67, so 57 years old. It dates back to 1885. And as it turns out, it may also be haunted. Wow, that's the nice. The following video was shared to the ghost subreddit by a user known as Dummy Racer, who was outside of Bradley's Lock and Key at 2 o'clock in the morning. Take a look and see if you notice anything unusual happening. is banging on the door. Maybe they're both butt naked banging in the bathroom door. Or it wasn't him. Okay, I see a mist. There seems to you be just some kind cut of it, so I almost missed it. Just below and to the right of the locks, right about here. Now, as for what this upload was doing in front of this store so early in the morning, is anybody's guess. Perhaps he works there. Regardless, this creepy video just goes to show you that even some places such as a locksmith mm -hmm. can be haunted by spirits. True. Let's just hope that the spirits within don't try to harm the customers next. Eh, possibly. Oh, doggy. Sometimes our beloved pets can see or experience things that us humans can't. True. That seems to be exactly what was happening in the following video published to YouTube by a channel known as Next, Ghost Nick someone else's butthole and not get arrested. In the video, we watch as an adorable dog can be seen simply going about its day sitting down on the nice carpeted floor. They can lick their balls in nowhere, public. The dog gets and I get arrested. By something that both we, the viewer and the uploader cannot see. True. The uploader then asks the dog what it's barking at, 
but the upload cannot figure it out. It's very clear that the dog is freaked out by what it saw, yeah. but nevertheless, it continues to investigate the area, perhaps trying its best to protect its owner. Now, dogs go ahead and pee and poop anywhere outside in public, but when I do that, I gotta register as a um, offender. And I gotta go to my neighbors and let them know what happened. Yeah, there's a lot of things dogs could do that we can't do. They could take a shit and then the, the, their owner uh, picks up their shit. But if I try to do that at home, uh, my wife wants to leave me. Which is quite adorable. However, if this video wasn't already unsettling enough, it's made even more creepy at around the one and a half minute mark when out of nowhere, this can be seen. Typically, people who have fireplaces, they tend to leave people's ashes or urns above the fireplace. So maybe... There's a personal item. Oh, the ball... A ball rolled out. Out of nowhere, an orange ball can be seen getting rolled out from under the cupboard. The whole cabinet going to the garbage. What could possibly cause this ball to roll out like that? It's something that the uploader cannot seem to figure out. Does the dog notice that the spirit is perhaps trying to play ball with it? Maybe. Regardless of what is truly going on here. Hold up. 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 Spirit is perhaps. You see, he put his paws in, and then go back. And then the ball moved when that happened. So maybe the ball wasn't even that deep into the underground. Perhaps trying to play ball with it. See? Rega look, 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 look. Let me go in super. Let me go in super slow mo. Playback 20.5. Wait, can I do custom? Can I actually do more slower? I oh, know. Watch this. Watch. Use your eyes. Your ojos. Today's word is ojos. Ojos means eyes. Use your ojos. That's Spanish for you. That's twenty-five dollars. Duolingo, Rosetta Stone. I'm some Poppy Stone. Give me my twenty-five dollars. If not, I rewind the video and don't tell you anything. Watch. Just the dog. Okay, that, that annoys me. Watch. Listen. Look at it. Look at. And Paul's goes in. Hands go. Paul's go in. Paul's go back. And boom, ball comes out. The dog did it. Ain't no fucking ghost video. Ain't no fucking ghost video. The dog took it out himself. Or herself. It's 2024. They self. I don't know. Z self. Regardless of what is truly going on here, it's quite creepy to say the least. The dog did it. In this creepy TikTok video posted by user to the floor 269, we floor. watch as the uploader ah, walks around in his ah, house piece of, ah, piece of, ah, piece of. It was at that point in which he decided he pulled out his phone and start recording. I thought he's about to send us out. He captured something. As it turns out, he definitely did. For the first little bit of the video though, it certainly appears as if there isn't anything wrong with the house. We watch as the uploader walks into various different rooms of the house, but he doesn't manage to find anything of interest. However, that all changes at around the 2 minute and 15 second mark of the video, when all of a sudden, this happens. Okay. Ah, uh, piso is how you say to the floor in Spanish. Pau piso. $27. Every single time I teach you Spanish, it's gonna go up to dollars. The base is $25 per, per video. I'm telling you. No. That's a knife. No. <laughs> Out of nowhere, a bunch of things can be seen getting thrown off the kitchen table. Seemingly by themselves. A butcher knife too at of that. Of course, this can't be possible. Just by taking a good look at the video, 
It doesn't appear as though there were any visible strings attached to any of the items. And it doesn't seem as if there are any windows open nearby either. By all accounts, it seems as if a ghost was present in this guy's house and managed to cause a bit of trouble. Let's just hope that things don't escalate from here. True. Either way, if I was the homeowner and this video was real, I'd be losing a ton of sleep. Yep. The following piece of footage was filmed by a woman named Angel who a posted woman. the video to her TikTok account. In the footage, we see an adorable cat perched on top of something in her room, but it seems as though it's staring at something. Get rid of For the, the cat. For the first little while, we don't really know what exactly the cat is looking at, but it's crystal clear that it's bothered by something. Then, just a couple of seconds later, we finally see why this cat is so spooked. Huh, he said his name in the video. There's a cat about a jump. Do you see it? Some kind of face can be seen at the top window above the door. Brother. It looks as though this person is trying their best to peer into the uploader's bedroom for some creepy reason. The Brother. uploader says that they hope they weren't hallucinating, but they definitely weren't. A second video that was posted to her account shows her walking around outside. Why would you you'd think that she would have some peace, but unfortunately, as you're about to see, that is not the case. I got... What the hell? I saw that. What As the hell? Saw, the... the same creepy entity appears once again, bothering the uploader for some unknown reason. Angel says that the entity whispers softly, telling her to follow deeper into the darkness. What does this mean? The clock has, has to, to get this girl. Never finds out. Angel, you gotta end up being an angel. Don't. St I swear, sometimes pe these people, they don't. It's like there's a whole genre of movies that ex kind of explains and tells you and shows you. Also, by the way, 1738. Hey, I said that was okay. But there's a whole genre of a movie franchise, a video game franchise. You have all of these notorious, notorious movies that are certified hood classics. But you do the opposite. It's always the chalk children that tends to do the opposite of common sense. Like, I don't understand why clear people don't just follow the rules of life because it seems like they don't like life. These boiled children tend to go out into the wilderness. They hear a foreign voice saying like, Come here, come deeper into the woods. And the people with no color decides to follow the fucking voice. You no, know, they end up being on a t-shirt or a hashtag or on a missing person report or on a milk carton back in the days. People are shocked. You guys are still shocked to this day that things happen. But you go against the common sense norm to not fucking investigate to run when you guys do run that trip like why why i mean at the end of the day thank you for the content because without you guys we would not have any nuke videos or bizarre videos or much of the search book videos this next video was published to the popular ufo subreddit by use known as tasty beverage who says that he got this video from New Folk. They New received folk. some very strange footage from South Africa, captured at four that morning by their son on a high security rhino farm, equipped with state of the art security systems, including radar, which initially detected the object. Oh yeah, amazing. State of the art at two frames. Love how he's a manly manual manual yeah Emmanuel. I like how he Emmanuel to continue following it. Such state of the art. 
Despite efforts, they couldn't identify the object on camera. Since it was a no-fly zone, a team of rangers was dispatched, but they heard neither lights nor sound and couldn't locate anything in the darkness. The object didn't travel in a straight line and changed course unpredictably. It they looked like a straight line to me. Peculiar object, along with two still images showing its different directions of travel, depicted by yellow and white dotted lines through areas with no established routes. That looked pretty linear its to me. Varied throughout, appearing high at times and very low at others. They were wow. certain it wasn't thought... a drone and noted that the object's shape seemed to shift on top as if scanning or performing some other function. Overall, they found it exceedingly odd, which is totally understandable. So, I'm curious, what do you guys make of this strange video? Do you think that this video depicts authentic footage of a UFO, or is this something else entirely? As drone? always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Uh, drone. That looks like... I don't know. That is just... I, I, I'm kind of dumbfounded. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's UFO. I mean, technically speaking, it will be identified as a UFO if nobody ever claims to be behind the wheel jet, the switch lever, whatever you call it for planes. I know it's more lever base and buttons. So you can't say behind the wheel because there's no real wheel in the plane. So behind the lever. So if no government or country or citizen admits they're behind the lever, then technically it will be a UFO, an unidentified flying object. So technically speaking, it is a UFO, but I don't think it's alien. This next video will surely make you feel quite nostalgic while also giving you goosebumps. The footage that you're watching is security camera footage taken from the inside of a Mexican blockbuster all Ooh. the way back in November of 2007. The video oh, in question man, was filmed by a YouTuber known as Free98. The CCTV is filming overnight footage while the store is closed. But just because the store was closed to the general public doesn't necessarily mean that it was closed to the spirit world. At around the one minute mark in the video, we watch as an overnight stock employee is simply trying to do his job when all of a sudden something bizarre happens that he can't explain. I'm looking left, right, up, down. Oh, the cart is moving. Nevertheless, the man continues to do his job, but things get increasingly creepier from here on out. Have a look. Well, it gets worse. Brig. Bro, listen. If I work in a nine to five and I'm putting in my hours, if you're a ghost, please don't fuck with my work. Come on. That's just fucked up. I used to work at Toys R Us. And uh, I was in charge of the boys areas for a couple of days. The worst possible noise you could ever hear is after you clean the aisle up as a stalker. is that imagine you spent an hour fixing up an aisle and then you just hear two little boys it's laughing and screaming and then you just hear a whole bunch of things hit the ground imagine that you spent a whole hour of your time bringing all the items up front for those who don't know when you're a stalker at a stalker when you're a stalker usually there's a little there's a gap here. This is the, they call it the end caps. 
your job as a stalker is to make sure there's little to no gap in between the items. The same thing, have them as close as possible. So one, everything looks more presentable, everything looks full, and it just looks nicer majority of the times. So it makes the area look full. That's the purpose of why when you go to a store, when it just opened, everything is pushed to the front. You know, behind it, it may be empty or in that shelf only maybe like two or three things. And there's a huge gap of just emptiness, but everything is pulled to the front for one, it looking more cleaner and neater. And two, obviously it's easier access. Not everybody is fucking six feet tall. Not everybody's five feet tall. You have kids who shop. You have people who are legally, I guess you could call them midgets. I'm not sure the proper term of dwarfisms or whatever that unfortunate situation is called when you're born, suffer through the same thing as that one actor who was an elf. Point is, that's the main purpose. Keeping everything in the front, looks more neater, professional, all that kind of stuff. So imagine spending an hour just fixing toys in an aisle that has hundreds of different UPCs, which is like items. And then you just go to the next area. You just see everything in here, everything drop. In this case, it's a ghost. So if you're a ghost doing this shit to me, I'm calling Sam and Dean. It's actually kind of amazing how unfazed this guy mostly appears because I think that if He's used most to it. of us were to ever find ourselves in a situation such as this one, we wouldn't want to be anywhere near that area. I'm sure this particular employee is nostalgic for Blockbuster like the rest of us are. I mean, he's getting the fuck out. A YouTuber known as My Name is Sam posted video to his channel oh, shit, on September 10th, 2020, in which he explains, quote, lost power last night, so I went down to the basement to check the breaker box. On my way back up, I heard something coming from the laundry room and went to check. What I no. saw proved to me there is something in my house. No. End quote. No. As Sam proceeds to investigate the source of the power outage, he takes his camera with him and ends up recording some truly scary noises that are seemingly unexplainable. No. Have a listen. Nope. Everything's okay. Why are you whispering? Power company. I feel like I'm watching a panel activity. Oh, who piping down my laundry machine? Then, just as you think that things couldn't possibly get scarier, this happens next. I'm in a real horror movie. I'm gonna play Outlast. These were closed. These were 100% closed. I never leave these open. I thought you said these are closed. I'm like, oh, duh. Don't put other shit inside the laundry machines. Brother Mary, I'm not watching. Imagine he looks down as a head in there. If there's someone or something here, I want you to prove it to me. I want you to close one of these doors. I don't have the fact that I don't have the fact that there was a jump cut from the camera. Oh, if I'm being honest, I'm glad nothing happened. Holy sh to this day. It appears as though Sam has no idea what caused this strange power outage and oh, what was Sam, I am chilling noises in his basement. Let's just hope that it's nothing to worry about. A YouTube channel called Creepy Outdoors frequently uploads videos ah. in which the channel owner wanders around to various different places in the outdoors and oftentimes he captures some truly scary stuff as you would expect by the channel name. However, 
One particular wow. video on his channel stands out from the rest. In the video that was published in October of 2022, okay. you can watch as the uploader wanders around a forest in the middle of the night, seemingly equipped with nothing but a flashlight. It's a fire as he makes his way through the forest, it truly seems as though there is nothing inherently scary about this forest other than the fact that it looks quite spooky late at night. But then yeah. this happens. My man there watched Blair Witch. To me, I think it's the most dumbest I oh, feel. That's why it's oh, the hi. dumbest. What the hell? You have a big light. I need to get out of here. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. That was fucking creepy. I need to get out of here. Whew. You're in the forest by yourself. Yes, you have a light source. Guess what the light source does to you? It gives away your position. There's some people who may live in the forest. Sometimes they may not be good people. Those people tend to maybe just wait on the side to potentially ambush, burglarize, and potentially uh, unconsent you. And when you're a dumb fuck with this super bright light, they know where you're at. You don't know where they're at because they could be hiding. You pandering your camera around in a direction where they say, I see you. There could be another motherfucker behind you, slowly creeping up behind you to basically make your booty hole theirs. That's why I feel like maybe doing forest exploration in the daytime is cool. But if you want to do creepy exploration in the forest at night, have a team, have a group or people minimum. That's just my words. Out of nowhere, a voice coming from somewhere nearby yells, I see you. Amazingly though, the uploader continues on with his investigation, even despite what just happened. He continues walking for about 10 more minutes, but is unable to find anything of interest. So he decides to stop filming. Would and you have continued walking around no. in the forest if you heard someone yell that at you? No. Heck. Would you even wander into a dark forest late at night in the first place? No. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. The Caucasity. A YouTube channel named Into the Void went exploring with a friend in 2023 in downtown Colorado Springs. Okay. Most particularly some tunnels near a river close to Fountain Creek open space. They had embarked on a venture into the underground, equipped with flashlights and a camera, driven by their shared interest in urbexing. Oh. The series of underground passages resembling storm drains weed. stretched for approximately a mile Smoke and a half. Weed every day. As they proceeded through the dimly lit tunnels, their casual conversation was abruptly interrupted by a piercing scream, eerily reminiscent of a woman's cry, yet distinctly inhuman, akin to the sound of a mountain lion's call. Suddenly, a pale huh? figure emerged from the darkness, its sickly appearance sending shivers down their spines. The creature looked humanoid, but had unsettling features. He says its face was reminiscent of a horse, albeit with less pronounced features. Stricken with fear, the they ran away, which was definitely the best thing they could possibly do in that situation. After sharing this terrifying story on Reddit, into the Void decided to return to the tunnel, all alone, to film it. Oh, I'm thinking we that we're did, getting footage of that. Happened. Bro, you, why don't people get like a brighter light? I'm really not looking forward to this. Dude, why are you doing it? No one's telling you to do it.
Oh, you're deep in there. I don't know what that was. Oh, mood apathetic. Reminds me, I must be emo from Hollywood Undead. Bro. Oh, I need to take a breather. What the f Nope. I'm dipped now. F this shit. I don't know what that is. Oh fuck. My man runs like he's in my dreams. I've run the same way in my dreams. What do you guys make of this chilling footage? As always, be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. You would not catch me dead. Dead doing shit like this without a group. I'm stronger in a group. Call me a fucking wolf. Wolves are bitches when they're by themselves. But get yourself a pack of wolves. I'll fuck up it the clown. I'll fuck up some ghosts by myself. How though? The first time I heard that lion roar screech, I'll already be in Jerusalem. I'll be somewhere and I don't know, Hong Kong. I'd be gone. I mean, the first flight out. I just don't understand. I just, yeah, I just don't understand. That was 13 videos. No. I'm sorry, just no. No. Cash me outside, how about that? I actually like Sir Spook videos. Just a little bit more tension with some of his clips. Because with Nuke, there's a little bit more of like background music into play. While I feel like with Sir Spooks that there is background music, but it's not as distracting. And Bizarre, Bizarre is good too. But I think so with Sir Spooks, there's a level or a layer of some type of fear that's installed. Because I tend to kind of look away majority of the time. I When you guys see me look like this, I'm not really looking away from the screen. How my setup is, is I have three monitors. I have a monitor to my left. I have a monitor right here in the middle. And then I have my monitor on my right which is essentially my recording OBS section. So I could look at whatever's on the screen, basically from my, just from my, okay, let me just take a, yeah, let me just take a picture. This is me breaking the fourth wall. This is my vantage point. So I could see my main monitor on my recorded program on my right monitor. So I could always see my screen when I look to the right, but the screen is smaller, which is a little bit more tolerable for my bitch ass. So that's a little background information of how I operate here. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Till next time, guys, as always, love your faces. If you want to help the individual who's created me a playlist for more spooky reactions, in my description is my Discord. In my Discord, there's a channel called Scary Reacts. When you submit clips, the individual who's in charge of my playlist should be the one putting your links into those playlists. I click on it. I watch videos back to back. If you want to watch a whole bunch of source books and find me videos from source book you think I might like, you may do that. If you want to go to the older Bizarre Bub videos and find me videos from Bizarre Bubs, that is fine. If you want to find me other channels that does horror stuff like analog style horror stuff or more of the long lines of the actual investigations in the whole totality i'm fine with that too if you want to find me that the pov horror stuff i'm okay as long as it's horror themed i'm fine with it just join the discord in the description submit any spooky scary horror video even though it's just jump scares not real actual ghost videos just submit things into scary reacts in the channel of that discord 
and the person who's in charge of the playlist will add your videos into that playlist and I'll in due time we'll get to your video I love your faces and I'm out Peace.